up beauties welcome back to holy hair in this video I am going to be showing you guys some of my highlighting secrets so I'm going to be doing three different highlights on three different clients and I'm going to be showing you my formulas how I get different types of blonde looks all three highlights are different types of blonding so they're going to be done a little bit differently toned a little bit differently and they have different bases different base levels so if you are interested in learning more about highlights stay tuned let's go let's me let's hit let's go holy hair let's go let's go let's go so we have my beautiful client diane here and we are going to be doing a partial highlight on her as you can see she has pretty fine hair so I'm going to show you guys some tricks that I do to highlight fine hair, how I go about her sectioning. She does have bangs too, so bangs can be a little tricky to highlight, especially with fine hair because you don't want to get any harsh lines in the bang area. What I have mixed for her formula is Schwarzkopf Blonde Me 20 Volume. And of course, some Olaplex. Okay, so I've got her sectioned and you wanna kind of do your sectioning beforehand before you start going in with your highlighting because you don't wanna be sectioning as you go. That's just gonna slow you down. We're gonna make the highlights pop while still having depth. So I'm going to be taking diagonal sections and I'm going to be weaving out her um, pieces that I'm foiling and I'm taking very fine sections because again she has fine hair and I'm going diagonally all the way up the side of her head and I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. And then I'm just folding over all the edges of the foils all at once to get them out of the way of the top section. And uh, it just stayed put when we <laughs> <laughs> when we took the clip out. See how she has this like almost like cowlick going up here. So it makes it hard to highlight because whenever you're pulling down a section it wants to spring up. And this sometimes happens with finer hair. So what I'm gonna do with Diane's hair today is I am just going to mist it with a water bottle. And this is just a tip that you can use for some of your blondes that have, um, you know, cowlicks or they have trouble staying in the foils because we don't want it to spring up and have tiger stripes or any kind of um, leaking through the foils. We want the bleach to stay in the foils and not leak out. So it is perfectly okay to mist down the client's hair when you're doing highlights. It's not going to affect the way that it is lightened. We're just touching up the root of her highlights. And some pieces you may need to pull down, but not all of them. So coming up on these front sections, I was weaving and then now I have gone to slicing. One tip when you're doing the foil is whenever you're laying it down, pull the hair with tension as you lay the foil down so that you get a very flat, tight surface all the way over as you are securing the foil in. And that'll help the foil to stay in place and be tight as close as possible up against your client's scalp. So I'm gonna show you guys that trick again. 
So you're just going to take your foil and you're going to slide it in like that. Start at one end and then fan it over and as you do that you're pulling the hair down so that you get a tight secure lock with the hair and the foil. And coming up into her bang area, I am foiling these backwards and then her bang is going to lay forwards so that you're not going to have any harsh lines when the bang flips forward. It's a little bit harder to foil backwards, especially when they wear their hair to the front. And like I said earlier, you may have those cowlicks or the hair may try to spring up a bit. So that's why it's good to mist the hair if it's being difficult, especially around the hairline when you have all these baby hairs and all these little hairs. If you just missed it, did I get it in your face? <laughs> she woke me up. Surprise. <laughs> so if you just missed those hairs around the hairline, it helps them to cooperate. And I am taking baby fine sections in the front here because we want this to be blonde and bright, but also we want it to look really natural. So, the finer the sections you take, the more natural the color is going to turn out. And then what I like to do on this top section is just clip up the top pieces so then when your client is processing, these front foils aren't going to flip over onto her face. And that also helps with, you know, um, slippage too because when clients are processing you know they may have to run to the bathroom and I don't know how they're flipping their hair around in the bathroom so you want to just make sure everything's secure so that we don't have any slippage. Okay so she's processed for about 20 minutes and Diane is already pretty light so she doesn't have to process too long and as you can see this is the last foil that I did and it is lifted to a pale pale yellow and so that's what we want show you guys what this side looks like looking real good she's just gonna be a quick tone so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull her foils rinse her out and then I'm just going to mix her toner so I'm gonna mix 10 n and a little bit of 10 GI just to give us some brightness just to like a little bit of pop put on her toner and I'm just gonna let that sit for five minutes and then we'll rinse that out and I'll show you her final result Okay, so next up, I have my mom here today. You guys have seen me do her hair before, but I'm just gonna go over kind of like comparing, you know, different levels of highlighting. So my last client had a lot lighter of a base color than obviously my mom has. So I'm gonna kind of show you the differences between like how I highlight um, her hair versus how I highlight someone who has a much lighter base. She's got about an inch regrowth coming in. So we're gonna touch this up and uh, give her an overall tone, give her a nice shine, and get her beautified. Ready to hit the town. <laughs> Cause mom's a wild woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I have her sectioned for just a basic partial highlight. I have her side sectioned, her mohawk section up here, and her other side. 
So I've mixed up Schwarzkopf Blonde Me with 30 volume and Olaplex, and I have the foils, my comb, my board all ready to go. A little foiling trick whenever you're doing highlights and say over here, I don't need to pull it down as much, but over here she has a little bit more dark. We're gonna move that side out of the way. And then I'm just gonna take my brush and bring this side up a little bit because it just needed to be pulled down until about there. And then you don't have too much overlap. The tighter you take the sections, number one, the blonder it's gonna be, and number two, the more natural it's going to look. It's not gonna look as chunky as far as like the um, spacing in between. My mom always says chunky. I tell her if you ever go to somebody else, don't say that because you're gonna get stripes. <laughs> but I know what she means. <laughs> she just wants them a little more PC, but not stripey. I'm getting a hot flash now. <laughs> I'm just casually eight months pregnant at work. <laughs> Baby girl's really poking out. And I'm also taking like thicker weaves for her highlight as well to give that um, bold blonde effect. So. Basically, it's like the thinner the highlights, the more natural they're gonna look. So, baby lights. And it's always, like clients don't understand this, but it's always like the more natural they want the hair to look is like the more time it takes and the more, you know, tedious the process. Another little tip, see how on her, on this section here, we have a couple of pieces that um, kind of go all the way to the ends and they're darker. So we wanna foil those out and then I am going to take another foil underneath and I'm going to bring it down on those pieces. This is a way that you can touch up those longer pieces without having to overlap the other hair. So we're coming to the side of her of her face and um, I'm gonna be doing like a few face frame highlights along here. So I'm just gonna kind of follow the pattern that I was doing before. And um, I don't need the board for this. I can just kind of place it up against her face like that. And then a good trick whenever you're doing um, foils like this is to hold the end of your client's hair and then take the back of your foil and press it up so you get it really close to their scalp there so you don't have any slippage. And then I'm just gonna fold this in half twice and seal it down. And I am just going to be doing a couple foils on the sides here. I like to keep the depth in her sides because that makes the top of her hair pop and it gives her more of that chunkier look that she's looking for to have some dark still in her hair. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave out this section here. So I've kind of foiled about three foils on her hairline there. I'm gonna leave out this middle piece and I am just going to do a couple foils up top here. This is going to give her depth and dimension and then it's gonna make her highlights pop. So we're just gonna do these, we're gonna weave them 
And I'm going to use my board for this. And then I just did the same thing on the other side and we're gonna let her process. Okay, so on Ashley here, as you can see, her base color is pretty light. And so what we like to do is we just accent her natural hair color. We try to just give her a very, very natural highlighted look. So I am doing just a mini foil on her today. So I categorize my foils. I have mini foil, partial, and then a full. And a mini is just um, a lot less than a partial. I don't categorize them as far as like the sectioning goes particularly, but it's more so like how many highlights I do. So I'm just gonna be highlighting these sections that are clipped and up here is where she parts her hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple of highlights at her part and then I'm gonna do a couple of highlights on her crown. Her front section here, I'm gonna be highlighting. So it's kind of a weird foil pattern, kind of different, but we're going along with the way that she wears her hair and we want this to look really natural and sun-kissed, like the way that the sun would lighten her hair if she were just to get natural highlights. And for her lightener formula, I mixed Schwarzkopf Blonde Me with 20 volume and 7 volume to get like an in-between, so it's almost like a 15 volume, and I also added Olaplex. So this is what her mini foil is gonna look like and I just have the front section kind of foiled and I kind of went, started to go at a diagonal on the top just to make it look really natural. I have a couple around her hairline. I did a few in the back, a few at her part and then on the other side of her hairline. All right, so she is ready to rinse. I just wanna show you guys what this looks like when she's ready to rinse. We got, um, it lightened enough to where we don't have any brassiness in it. So this is her raw lift right now, taking out her foils and I am going to do a quick tone on her. Um, I'm gonna be mixing up 9GI and 9N equal parts and we're just gonna leave that on for a little over five minutes and then rinse.
have Ashley here and I want to show you guys her lift. It looks so pretty, so natural. And she is ready to rinse. And I'm going to tone her as well. We're gonna do a cool tone on her. So I'm gonna use my 10 line because she is so light. So we're gonna mix 10P and 10N and that's gonna give us a really natural platinum blonde. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.